Good afternoon, hello. My name is Daniel. This is the Triathlon Down YouTube channel. Sorry if I just dribbled. If you're joining me today, a lunchtime run time, we start for a five mile steady jog. Just business as usual. However, a couple of big updates in my life. First of all, have you seen the Molly May and Tommy Fury drama? Woo. Liz has been keeping me up to date. Uh, number two, today's the first day in like weeks that my Garmin has told me I had a good sleep. But honestly, I was, I was close to making a video about it because it feels like for ages, it's always just told me that you're sleeping like rubbish. How are you even getting in bed? All that sort of stuff. So I was surprised to see that. But last night, it was the first evening that I haven't done any training in a while. So I wonder if that is something to do with it. Like train in the evening, eat late, bed late, don't sleep very well. I know it's not rocket science, but I was still in bed late last night, but I hadn't exercised. So a little thing it tells you, it says something like exercising earlier in the day, gets your body used to, I don't know, some sort of body clock. Anyway, I do feel a bit better. I feel like I've slept better. So yeah, anyway, right. I'm gonna get up this hill, turn around, get near home, then I'll have a bit of a catch up. There we go then, run, done and dusted. Leave the stats on screen. Five and a bit miles. Pretty good heart rate for me, low 130, sort of mid zone two. Eight minutes, 23 per mile. And that's pretty good. I mean, the last, over the last four months, my running has gone from on that route, like nine minute miling to now about eight and a half. So 30 seconds a mile off, which is great. It's not like, you know, life changing, but I'll definitely take it. I, a couple of years ago, I used to run that loop at like eight minute miles. So I know that I've still got a way to go to back to where I was, but I can only do what I can do. So, you know, just keep chipping away. Hoping for a good winter of running, to be honest. So we'll see how that goes. Um, right, what we're doing now, afternoon at work, and then I'm breaking up from work tomorrow. So I'm in that phase where you probably know, like you're just trying to get on top of everything so that you can finish and have some time off. And uh, it's not as easy as you first think, but I'm um, determined to make it happen so I can get some good training in next week when I'm off. Anyway, um, yeah, afternoon at work, swimming tonight. So I shall see you at swimming. Torch. Well, you've got a minute Wait, if you want to do that. We have oh, to. It's right, it's going. <laughs> we can do it live <laughs> reaction. <laughs> right. We have to wait. See, Helen. We have to wait a minute until Lee has synced his swim on Strava because you can't possibly talk about how it was until you've seen the data, can you, Lee? Exactly. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get a live reaction to the stats. What do you reckon? 2,050 meters, average 149 per 100. You did a 14300, didn't you? I did, yeah. That's good. I mean, there's a heavy amount of drafting going doesn't on. Mate, it doesn't matter, that's swimming. You know. <laughs> I said to Lee, what was your time with that 100? You know, like 143, but if I lose these feet, it's a 150. <laughs> <laughs> it's about right. Yeah. Well, I was, I was doing like 135s, 136s on Dean's feet. Yeah. And then he said, oh, I feel like I'm struggling for sugar. I'm like, do you want a gel? Do you want a chew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to have me if he's not there either. <laughs> anyway, good swims all around, both over 2K. Good sessions, mate. Uh, Lee, this weekend, you're taking part in your first ever Olympic distance triathlon. I am. Open water, proper. You know, how are you feeling? Uh, excited, um, nervous. Uh, I think had I have not done that outlaw swim, mm -hmm. I'd have been a whole lot more nervous. Because that was the middle distance swim you did. Let's face it, 1500 meters in open water is not insignificant. Yeah, is yeah it? it's a long way. Yeah. And this is a big step up from mm -hmm. a sprint. So, you know, it's a, a lot longer on both things, mm -hmm. the bike and the run, a lot longer in the water. Yeah. So I feel like this is a stepping stone to 70.3. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to just go from sprint to 70.3. This is somewhere in the yeah. middle. I think Olympic's good because it's most of the swim of a middle distance, yeah. isn't it? But then still only like half the, well, less than half the bike and run. Yeah. So you, you've still got some way to go for that. But you, your training far surpasses somebody who's, I think about when I did my first Olympic distance, I was done nowhere near the amount you've done. So yeah. be confident in that. But still, realistic that it is, I a mean, big, is a big day out, isn't it? People will tell me because I'm a weaker swimmer, this is not the distance for me, but I don't really care. Care. everything's yeah. not about results is it no of course it isn't so it's the blithfield olympic distance there is a sprint distance on the same day as well and the sprint distance is the national police championships as well i think oh, right. so i'm gonna make sure my car insurance is up to date I'm the car <laughs> yeah. um, and i'm gonna come along and try and make a video from it so i will see you there i have media access thanks to swim coach ash awesome <laughs> and um we're gonna try and make a cool video from it some memories from the day absolutely and, uh, yeah. get you crossing the line breaking the tape uh, a few other notable names there, I don't know many, but Dan McParland, who is a 
iron distance legend. I think he's using this as part of his build up to Ironman Wales, so it'd be cool to kick him into touch, wouldn't it? Wow, we'll see. <laughs> he, did, he did tell me that, because um, you went on a video once, said, made a comment about triathletes and how fast they do and don't cycle. He said it causes ripples throughout his triathlon community. Yeah, so I'm going to have to back this up with a fast <laughs> bike ride, aren't I, really? Exactly. <laughs> Swim coach Ash, you're going to be there on Sunday, aren't you, for Lee's first Olympic distance? Of course, who would miss it? And you, you were saying you're part of the swim safety team, so we might be out on a boat, eh? I might be on the boat on Sunday morning, yeah. Wicked. All right, I'll see you Saturday because we're graveling. We're graveling. Yeah, nice one. All right, Lee, we'll see you Sunday morning, bright and early. Yep, I'll see you there. Have a good race, I'm sure people will get behind you and there'll be a video coming from it very soon after. Let's do it. Yeah, see you later.